Welcome back. You're watching outside. Chris Pru in the North Conway studio with our next guest, Tim Witten. He's the executive director of the New England Ski Museum, and we're talking celebration, specifically the 27th annual Hannah Schneider Meister Cup race, which is taking place March 8th through 10 at Cranmore Mountain Resort. Uh, we're going to talk about how we're celebrating, but first let's talk about what we're celebrating, specifically Hannah Schneider's story here in the Mount Washington Valley. Yeah, so Schneider was... Uh, in the early 20th century, sort of pre-1930, he was, he was the rock star of skiing, basically. Uh, he was a ski instructor that had learned to teach skiing uh, to mountain soldiers in World War I, so he had a very specific style, very militaristic style of teaching uh, that I think a lot of Valley folks might remember. Uh, but yeah, so he was, he was a rock star skiing, traveled internationally, a lot of big films, uh, you know, silent ski films and things like that. So, uh, and then he lands here in the late 30s and 38 uh, to basically take over the Eastern Slope Ski School from Carol Reed at Harvey Dow Gibson's behest. And the rest is sort of history. I mean, he's, he's the rock star. He's, he's uh, I wouldn't call, call him aged at that point uh, yep. by the late 30s and 40s after the war, but uh, he's, he's sort of past his prime, if you will, but he's still uh, a persona, um, and he's still, I mean, he's still a heck of a ski teacher at that point. Yeah, it'd be like getting LeBron James now, past his prime, but still, he's, he's LeBron James. Yeah. He's like the biggest name, you know, in the sport. Um, so Harvey Dow Gibson at, uh, at Carol and Carol Reed were actually sitting, the studio is located in the former Carol Reed building, um, where Carol Reed created his Carol Reed shop, which became world famous for its, uh, its ski apparel. Uh, Harvey Dow Gibson was, uh, was financed the whole thing, brought Schneider to Cranmore, and that really put Cranmore and the Mount Washington Valley on the map. Yeah, Cranmore, had, I think Gibson had bought the year before uh, to kind of get it going. Um, and, and, you know, I think part of the reason this story is so important is because, not necessarily because it's, uh, you know, North Conway and the Mount Washington Valley, or that it's Schneider even, uh, but it's these these connections. None of this is random. Yeah. Um, so Gibson at the time, uh, he's, I think, president of the Manufacturers Trust Company. He's been at American Express, or what, what used to be American Express. Uh, Goldman Sachs, he basically bought Goldman Sachs in 31 or 32 to prevent bank runs. So, uh, and he's been commissioner of the Red Cross through two world wars. Wow. So, I mean, this guy is like, the highest up as you can go in American, you know, political economy. Uh, and Schneider is imprisoned by the Nazis at the time. Granted, the war hasn't started yet, but um, yeah, there's there's some big uh, international political wheelings and dealings happening here. We don't know all of it, yep. we know some of it, um, but it's, it's not random that Schneider comes here. Right. Uh, and it's not random that this all kind of comes together. And that puts Cranmore and the Mount Washington Valley on the map in terms of uh, a ski destination. This is a time when skiing is just exploding, and you've got the number one name in the sport here in North Conway, New Hampshire. It's fascinating because you walk through town, and it's such a small little village, and just the you know the web of history that is you know filtered through here. Um, we, it's it's pretty amazing between here and the Bretton Woods Monetary Conference. There's so many fascinating things you can find out a lot about these stories at the New England Ski Museum, um, and that's why you guys are raising money, and part of that is this, this Schneider Cup. So tell me about the event. Uh, how can people get involved? Sure. So it's in its 27th year, so it's, it's pretty, pretty dialed in at this point. Uh, it's a three-day event. All of the details are on our website, newenglandskimuseum.org. Uh, folks can register there for it, too. We do have about 100 race registrations left. Um, Maybe 50 of those will get a, one of the commemorative bibs. It has, has an image of Schneider on the front doing a Glendersprung uh, in, uh, in his younger years. Um, yeah, so there's, there's ways to, to participate, whether you, you want to turn some gates. It's a pretty, pretty gentle race, uh, though we'll see how the snow shapes up in the next week. <laughs> Today it wouldn't be. Uh, but it's, uh, yeah, so there's a race component, but then it's also just, it's more of a, a celebration of skiing and the long ski history in the valley here. Yeah. So we have a, a Friday night hearty Bavarian dinner. Uh, also, you will be ser serenaded by the Bavarian brothers who are a uh, 
very awesome musical group doing classic Bavarian music uh, with some, some great instruments and shoes and skis. <laughs> uh, and they're in full attire too. They're, they're cool guys. So they'll be there all weekend. Uh, Saturday's got the race component to it, but you know, there's also brats, there's beer, there's a fashion show, uh, there's trivia, and then Sunday, uh, and all of this is happening at Cranmore. Sunday, we've got a, a film showing of the early days of Cranmore with, uh, with the Schneiders and Tony Matt, uh, and that's going to be uh, narrated by a roundtable of ski history experts. Right, and some of this is found film that's, that's, there's no audio to it. It's never been seen before by the general public. Is Correct. that right? Yeah, it's stuff that we pulled out of our archive. So we have a, about a 4,000 square foot archive in Franconia at our other location. And yeah, this is this is film that was given to us uh, some time ago, and it you know came in those those big reels, but it's tightly wound tape. Mm. So uh, about two years ago, it got all pulled apart, got cleaned, got digitized, wow. and compiled together. So we've sort of showed it around a little bit here and there, and it, I mean it's cool stuff. Um, and it, and and the 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 narrators who we have coming, like John Allen, who's I mean he's the expert on skiing there is. And then you have Jeff Like, who's uh, kind of another of the experts on skiing, you know, the, the smaller details, if you will. And then Tom Eastman, who literally wrote the book on Cranmore. <laughs> yep. And then I'll be there sort of throwing some softball questions at them. Uh, yeah, I mean, this, this film really lets you get into, okay, why is Schneider actually, why is this a big deal? Well, he's yeah. a ski instructor. Why were ski instructors a big deal? Well, because it took you five to seven years to learn how to ski on a leather boot a binding of some rudimentary kind and, you know, monstery long wooden skis. Like it took you a long time to learn how to ski. Yeah. So that's why the ski instructors are a big deal. That's why the wooden skis and the leather boots are a big deal. Yeah. So, and there's, there's some other stuff too uh, that we'll, we'll be talking about. Looking to see what, what he could do on those skis and the, the, that equipment, it'd be so fun to bring him into the future and be like, Here's today's equipment. Let's see. Let's see what you can do. Yeah. So we've got some image uh, in this film of Schneider going around gates on this roughly the same slope, same course, even same types of gates. Uh, you know, GS sort of gates uh, as folks will be skiing in a race. And the conditions. I mean, we know obviously based on grooming and relative lack of snowmaking. Yep. Uh, we kind of can guess what the conditions are like, but you can see it. And yeah. then to be able to actually see him uh, put a ski on edge and turn tightly around a gate wow. at his age is pretty pretty cool. Yeah. And then there's Tony Matt, who's actually like ripping through the gates at that point. Oh. All right, so get your make plans to be at Cranmore both Saturday and Sunday, March 8th. Uh, Friday, March 8th, yep. if you want to come to the dinner, uh, tickets are still available for that. It's all at newenglandskimuseum.org or call one of our locations and staff can talk you through that. Uh, Saturday is the big, the big deal. Sunday is also the big deal with the film and, yep. the, and the discussion and such. You can just hang around Cranmore. This is going to be, the, I think, the first year with the new giant base lodge, so it's going to seem even more grand in scale. Um, people, if you want to sign up for the actual race, you get to keep your bib? Yeah, if you're one of the first 200... Uh, to register, and we've got about 50 of those left. Uh, yeah, you get to keep the bib, and it's got, I mean, it's a cool image. I mean, it looks like a world, it's basically a World Cup bib, yep. but it just says Schneider Meister Cup. Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, so a lot of fun. Uh, do you have to do you have to have a full team, or can you just sign up as an individual? No, I mean we're still doing full teams, and we've got awards for teams. Uh, but yeah, you can sign up as a as an individual as well. All right, and where's the best place to go to do that? NewEnglandSkiMuseum.org. All right, Tim, have we forgotten anything? No, I, the, other than that, this is our biggest single fundraiser of the year, uh, and so this is a great, great way to support the museum, uh, support Cranmore, say thanks to Cranmore because these yep. guys do a lot for, for us and for the Valley, and just a great, great opportunity to, uh, yeah, celebrate skiing in the Valley, a uh, long history of skiing in the Valley, and I would say, uh, you know, for anybody that's looking for that authentic sort of old school ski experience, this this event really makes you feel like you're part of a small ski area community, yep. much like it was in the 40s, 50s, 60s. Absolutely. And uh, I will leave you with this. When I ask you if we have forgotten anything, the answer is no because of the New England Ski Museum because they, uh, they collect history and make sure that uh, the, the history of skiing and ski culture stays alive in the White Mountains and beyond. 
Very so much. thank you very much. Yeah, thanks for having me. All right, you're watching outside.